Well, welcome back to another adventure. Today I'm out at a nice dispersed camping area. You guys have probably seen this spot before if you've seen my older video. So I'm currently parked in the shade here and uh, take a look at this view. As you can see, the sun's just about gone down here, so we don't have a whole lot of light left, but uh, figured I'd get out today, just try to enjoy it. Let's go ahead, get everything set up. So before it gets too dark, I believe I'm going to take me a little ride on the scooter, which I'll talk more about in an upcoming video. So it is currently about 7.55. I'd say it's still about 80 degrees outside. I don't have service to check, but uh, I'll get the thermometer out here in a little bit and check it. Horse flies are still swarming me, but uh, I imagine if I didn't get rid of all of them that I did, it would be much worse. I probably wouldn't be able to stay. <laughs> probably gonna get the fire going here soon. It's, uh, it's warm out, but I still wanna have us a little campfire at least tonight. And uh, we might just cook in the back of the truck tonight. I think that might be what we do, just to kind of get away from the bugs. So peaceful out here though. All right, so I gathered a couple of twigs here, what I could find. And uh, just gonna get one of my fire starters out of here. Just a cotton pad with uh, petroleum jelly inside. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be cooking over this tonight, so just 
gonna light this. Kinda let it catch real quick. Doesn't take long. Break our sticks up. There's a bunch of like paper towels and stuff in here and I'm just going to kind of take a stick and burn it all so kind of cleans up the fire pit a little bit. That should take off pretty well. Fire is going pretty well now. There's not a cloud in the sky. I think I can just barely see the moon. So the last people actually left a few extra logs and I just laid them over top of what I've already got on there. They're kind of big logs, but they should burn down nicely now. Starting to get kind of dark. Don't know if you guys can see it. But the moon is right up there. It's a small crescent moon. So I've got some Haritos to drink and I didn't bring a glass so we're going to drink straight out of the bottle here. It's good. So tonight we're going to be making these chicken fajitas and I've just got this, it's already cooked chicken, you basically just warm it up got some lettuce here some tortilla shells some peppers and onions and this Mexican sauce that I'm gonna add in with all the vegetables and the chicken to kind of give it a better flavor and I've never tried this but we're gonna try it today see how it is but for today we're gonna be using this induction stove it's like a little cooktop burner that you can use and to power this I'm going to be using the V Jump 1800 so check this out so here it is this is the V Jump 1800 you've got two DC ports right here you've got two USB outputs you got your LCD screen showing your capacity hours and watts that it's using 
you've got a jumper cable area and you can use this to jump your car or your truck whatever you're using so you've got your three pure sine wave 110 volt 60 hertz 1800 watts you've got four USB A ports right here that I'm using currently I'm using two but you've got four here another DC outlet down here and then you've got a cigarette 12 volt cigarette outlet right here you've got all kinds of ports on this power station which is really nice huge thank you to V Toman for sending me this power station really appreciate it and uh, gonna be using the heck out of it yeah if you guys want to get one I'll have a link to it in the description down below definitely go check it out at least and they've got other kinds of stuff too if you don't want this big of a power station it is kind of heavy but like I said it's gonna power a lot more things than you know your typical like 500 watt uh, power station would but sometimes that's all you need is the 500 watt and they've got smaller power stations if you need that a big reason why I wanted one of these is it can power a lot more things if you need it to and today we're gonna to be trying out this induction burner using this and I think it's gonna run it just fine so let's put it to the test and start making some food because I'm getting pretty hungry also I'm gonna get this fan going as you can see I've got it kind of clipped on top of the handle here on the power station and I just turn that on pointed at me got a nice little breeze in here and that just keeps the air circulating in here 77 degrees outside 79 degrees in here so yeah it's warm and it is currently 9 46 so we're kind of eating late tonight but that'll be all right go ahead and get this plugged in here turn this on okay so that's ready to go i'm gonna put our cast iron on there gonna add a drop of oil in the pan here first we're gonna do our peppers and onions the chickens already done so we just got to warm it up there we go pulling about 690 watts right now oh you got it set at 180 Fahrenheit so once these peppers and onions cook up we'll throw our chicken on then we'll add some of this Mexican sauce on here and hopefully it'll be good this smells amazing the onions are starting to get brown so I think that means it's time to start putting the chicken in and getting it warmed up This is looking good. We got some of the Mexican sauce in there. Now we're just gonna let it cook all in that sauce and we'll be done. That looks pretty good to me. That's really good. You know, I, I wasn't quite sure how that was gonna turn out, but I really like it. The uh, Mexican sauce has just a little bit of spice to it. Not much at all, but makes it very good. Well, I'm going to finish this one, probably make one to two more. That's pretty much it. 
going to get all this cleaned up. Then we might lay back and I don't think I'm going to watch a movie tonight. It's already pretty late. So I'm uh, going to finish eating all this, lay back, let that food settle a little bit, and then we'll be ready for bed. Alright guys, well supper was great, got everything cleaned up, got changed, just been laying here watching the fire, and uh, I'm about to head to bed, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's currently 6.43, there's some fog out there, it actually stayed kind of cool last night. Got a little bit of chill in the air this morning. But uh, it's time to get up. Get ready to get out of here. Let's take a look outside. Let's go ahead, start making some coffee, get everything packed up and make our way out of here. guess no coffee this morning well if nothing else I guess we got us a nice view this morning and maybe we'll go for a ride on the scooter again but other than that I'm gonna get out of here pretty soon so yeah well let's go for a quick ride before we head on out of here oh that wind is kind of chilly this morning Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure here. I know I sure did. The chicken fajitas were great. Uh, the horse flies were not great, but we got rid of most of them. And they're still kind of out here swarming around, but regardless, it's been a good trip. We had us a nice campfire last night. Got a little bit chilly last night, so it was nice to not be sweating the entire night like we have been lately. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.